Welcome to Cisco Training Videos. My name is Trevor. The topic for this video is going to go in depth into the question of what is a network? Well, if you're new to Cisco networking, your perspective of what exactly a network is and how the internet operates is going to greatly differ than someone who actually engineers those networks. From most end users' perspectives, the internet is just some massive entity that they need to visit in order to see different types of websites. However, from a network engineer's perspective, the internet and networks are a much greater and intricate idea than that. You see, the internet is simply a collection and web of networks all woven together. And these millions of individual networks all over the world collectively create what we refer to as the internet. The internet is just one giant network. So now at this point, let's take a step backwards and let's answer a much smaller question. Simply, what is a network? A network is a collection of computers, switches, router servers, laptops, phones, printers, you name it. Essentially anything that can connect to the internet. I think there's even toasters and like thermostats that can connect to the internet. So all of these devices, they communicate to each other through some type of medium like ethernet or radio frequencies. So regardless of what your perspective of a network is, whether you're an end user who doesn't really know how a network works or, or even cares how a network works for that matter, or if you're some senior CCIE network engineer deploying Rackspace's next data center, what actually matters is that you understand what the purpose and function of the network is. And that purpose is to move data from point A to point B. Think about it, even if you don't know what a network is and how it works, which is 99% of the population in the world, as long as you can open up an internet browser and point and click, you can use the internet. That's the greatest thing about it. So let's think about it for a second. No matter what action it is that you're taking on the internet, it always comes down to the function of that network. You're simply moving data from point A to point B. Even if you're checking the weather on some weather website, in order for you to check the weather on that website, you're downloading an HTML page from that weather's website's server that may exist all the way on the other side of the world, and you're loading it into your local browser on your computer. Or even if you're downloading music, it's the same exact concept. You're taking a file that exists on a server, a server that exists in some other network, and you're taking that piece of data and you're moving it from point A to point B, which is your local computer. Or even you watching the Cisco training video for that matter, you're communicating to a server that's located in a network that's outside of your own network, and it's communicating through the internet as it moves that data. And the amazing thing is, this is all happening at the speed of light in fractions of a second. For me, that's what made me so intrigued about networking. I needed to know how that worked and how it's even possible. And, and here I am three years later, I'm still fighting to figure that out. So I really hope that you find an equal passion for networking the way I did. So I encourage you to continue watching these Cisco training videos and work your way towards getting that CCNA certification and, and taking a step into this industry. All right, so let's recap. A network is simply a collection of devices that communicate to each other through a medium such as ethernet or radio frequency. And these devices can include items such as servers, firewalls, computers, printers. The purpose of a network is to move data from point A to point B. And what is the internet? The internet is a collection of networks all over the world that work together in order to achieve the purpose of networks, and that is to move data. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.